So who are we talking to tonight? This is Karen Kewley from Appleton, Wisconsin. <laughs> and she's a four-time Ironman, three times so far. Three-time Ironman. Okay. And I'm Wendy Held from Appleton, Wisconsin. Okay. And, uh, and we're Griffin Girls. We're Griffin Girls. We're Griffin Girls. We're Griffin Girls. So, Griffin Girls. Griffin Girls. so tell me about the Griffin Girls. How did the uh, Griffin Girls phenomenon get started? Well, there's a bunch of us girls that have Griffins in Wisconsin. Okay. They all do Ironman. And um, one of them is a sewer. She's done Ironman many times. She makes things. And so she came up with the idea that to celebrate Tony, we would make Griffin Girl skirts for all the girls that ride the Griffins. And then when we go to these swims and events, we wear our Griffin Girl skirts. Because we didn't have a uniform. Right. So there you go. Fantastic idea. So how many Griffin Girls are there? And uh, when I got my Griffin, I will tell you that the, having biked for many years, getting on that bike, uh -huh. every ounce of energy I put in the bike moves you forward down the road. It's unbelievable. Climbing down the road. There's nothing wasted. It's such a cool material. So it caused me to win my age group at Ironman in Wisconsin, sending me to Hawaii. It's all the Griffin. Otherwise, I'd just be nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great to hear. <laughs> so now, what, what brings you guys to Texas? Um, we were going to do a marathon. Okay. I had a little hamstring issue, so I didn't get to do it. So she did the marathon, and I just biked. And Tony. And Tony lives and Tony. here, so we figured it would be a good place to go do a marathon, because we could visit Tony. So did you get some good riding in while you were here? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice hills, beautiful yeah. scenery. Weather was great. Yeah. Up north, it's still snowing. We have snow on the ground still, so... Great. It's nice, nice to not be in the snow. <laughs> yeah, spring is never going to come, but it's here, so it's been great here. And you know, when we get back, we'll bring the warm weather with us. Maybe we'll get nice. There you go. Good for everybody, right? Yeah. So, so what can you tell me about about our illustrious host over here? <laughs> How long have you known uh, Tony Free? Oh, four years. Four years. Yeah. Five, maybe. Five. Yeah. Tony is a Tony has waited on us and taken care of us and gotten us anything that we needed and uh, he's a great host. Yeah. He's a catch. Matter of fact, if you're, you know, 40 or older, this man is all you can handle. Come <laughs> and find Tony Free. Yeah. How, how, how about <laughs> that for an endorsement? Yeah, how are you going to put that on a way? <laughs> <laughs> so how is he to ride with? He's hard to keep up with. Is he? You're a heck of a cyclist. Yeah. yeah. We really met doing all the camps in California together. That's where we, yeah. Really, yeah. we really all met four years ago. They they came to uh, to the Griffin cycling camps in, in Buellton, yeah. California, or Solvang Valley, where all the major teams train and have fun in February. Because the weather's really nice there in February and it's bad everywhere else. So everybody who does winter climates like to go up here and do the camps. And that's why I met all these wonderful Wisconsin folks. Through mm -hmm. Alan Jurkowski. Yes. He was the ah, kid. Alan Cherkasky. So Tony we, took very good care of us. Every time we've done any camp with him, he makes sure our bikes fit perfectly. We have everything that we need. That there's someone to do all the mechanical work that might need to be done while we're out. Somebody sags for us usually. It makes us you don't even really have to think about much. Roll out, of, roll out of bed, ride and ride. Yeah. Yeah. And ride neat, right? And I have to say, when I went out to California, I had no intention of buying a Griffin, none. Um, but we rode the first day, and I got on that thing for the whole day. I couldn't believe how smooth it was when you ride it. And after the second day, I, I bought a bike. So, <laughs> and are you glad you did? I love my bike. It's it's like I've named my bike. I, You've I named it. your bike. What's yes. what have you my named your bike? Named Sid. Sid, and why Sid? <laughs> uh oh. Um, the bike is named Sid Vicious because of what I feel like in my girly parts after riding it for a hundred or so miles. So. <laughs> Sid Vicious. No matter oh, how this is, well these things that's ride. That's how the girls feel, huh? <laughs> she hasn't gotten that perfect saddle yet. yet. She needs to keep working on that. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's just the, the girls, you know. <laughs> I, I think you're going to ask that, baby. I couldn't think of a nicer way to say that, but yeah. Sid 
vicious because Sid and I like to ride together, but after a long day, I, I know I've been with him. So. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is this is great footage. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic. It's very nice to meet the Griffin girls, and we, we thank you guys for coming to visit us in Texas and hope to see you again real soon. All right. Thank, thank you. you.